15 minutes to grab whatever they can. Just the things that matter to us, the things that can't be replaced. The photos, photos of our kids and stuff. <laughs> and so are those the first things that you kind of rushed to grab today? Yeah, they were, and the passports, <laughs> yeah. Today was the first time Richard and Tiffany Mugabe and their four children were allowed home after the Rangitaiki River forked into Edgecombe. They've lived in Edgecombe for nine years, number 66 Puriri Crescent. They're just two streets back from where the stop bank broke, which puts their house firmly in the red zone. Are you surprised at how high the water came up? Because your house is, you know, quite maybe high. about knee level, it's yeah. quite high, and then it even came above that. Yeah, no, we were pretty surprised. Even our pool, because our pool's quite high off the ground and it has a deck, um, it washed over the pool as well. Yeah, no, pretty scary. I'm just, yeah. Do you guys have insurance? Are you okay in that respect? Uh, yes, we have. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of the reasons why we, we wanted to go return back to our home just to find our, um, all our papers and, and that's the one thing we forgot. <laughs> but, yeah, now we're insured. To be able to go back, the Mugabe's, like hundreds of others, have to be accompanied by a civil defence escort and they're allowed just 15 minutes. Walking in their front gate, their car is covered in mud and looks to be totaled. In fact, their entire property is covered in thick mud. Inside, they're welcomed by sodden carpet and a lingering smell of damp mixed with rotting food because their fridge has been off since Thursday morning. But despite all of that, they're managing to stay positive. Compared to what we've heard, uh, we're probably lucky. Other than now, some of our deck, uh, losing our deck in the flood and some other stuff. But now we're probably um, well off than some of the other ones. Yeah. We still have family out there that are unable to get into their houses. The family's staying with Richard's parents, but with their house in the red zone, they've no idea when they'll be able to actually move back home. We still don't even know. <laughs> but uh, the guy that helped us said, oh, just come back any time or if, if, if I can take you in, we'll, we'll take you fellas in. And probably uh, we're, we're just going to wait and see. Yeah. Yeah, no, he was just all trying to process things. Yeah, just, but um, to me, I, we're all right. I'm still thinking about um, some of our, our auntie and our uncle that's still, still not able to get back in the home because of the, the water's still high. Mm, so, yeah, my, my heart goes out to, to them. And that's the common theme in Edgecombe right now. So many people have lost so much yet most somehow consider themselves lucky. Yeah, well, we kind of count ourselves lucky that we weren't there the day it happened. Um, I've got nieces and nephews the same age as my kids that, that were. And yeah. Yeah. For Checkpoint, Zach Fleming.